This video will explain what a slide library is in SharePoint. Now a slide library is a special type of a library that's been built to contain individual PowerPoint slides. You can use it to share PowerPoint slides with your team members. You can even assign individual slide ownership. So for example, you can say one person, let's say Sarah works on one slide for yearly projections while Mike, the other team member, works on another slide for the end of the year goals. And uh, once it all is gathered together, once they have done their part, you can get a final view of all the slides together in a PowerPoint deck. Now for this particular functionality to work, you will need at least Windows SharePoint Services 3.0 on the server, and also you'll need PowerPoint 2007 as your client machine. So for example, right now what I have is a project deliverables.pptx document. I'll go ahead and open it up regular PowerPoint document and uh, it has some slides in here SharePoint eLearning.com being the top slide project notes and team assignments now I want to let's say go ahead and share these slides in a slide library to all the team members who belong to my team site let me go ahead and close this thing I'll go to my site which is the IT site and in here I'll click on site actions create Here we go, here's a slide library. I'll create it and I'll just call it Project Goals or something like that. Okay, so the first thing I need to do to populate the slides within this library is I need to upload them. And the upload functionality is different here than it is in the other libraries. So when I go to upload, it says Publish Slides. Take some slides from the existing Microsoft Office SharePoint 2000s, I'm sorry, Microsoft Office PowerPoint 2007 document and upload it from there. So I'll click on this link here. In my, in my My Documents folder, here's the project deliver, deliverables.pptx. I'll click on Open. Now, as you can see, that the PowerPoint application itself is actually in the background. So it's opened it up and it's showing me the slides, the uh, slides which are within the PowerPoint in this modal dialog box and I can select the ones that I want I can even label them differently if I wanted to right now so I can select all three of them by clicking on this one at a time or I can click on select all the bottom and then all, all I have to do right now is click on publish alright so let's see if it did it I'll go back to the project goals library click on the refresh button here we are. So here's all the three different slides that I had in my live in my PowerPoint. All of them have gotten uploaded now into this library. Now keeping in mind that this is a library within SharePoint, so any of the regular library kind of rules apply to this uh, slide library, meaning I can give permissions to each of these slides if I wanted to. I can manage permissions individually at a file level. I can edit their properties. I can even put a file through a workflow if I wanted to, if I put a workflow on top of this library. I can use versioning, check in, check out, all those things that are available to me that would be in a library. And now of course anything that I have here, individual slides, all the information for the slides, that, that can all be searched by using regular search mechanisms of SharePoint. So let's consider this now. Now that I've uploaded this presentation, all the slides from this presentation to this library, I can assign individual people. I can say, Mike, you go ahead and work on slide two. Sarah, you go ahead and work on slide three. And uh, somebody else, Robin, go ahead and work on slide one. And I can go at any point in time and say, copy slide to presentation. Uh, so let me go ahead and first select all these and say, copy slide to presentation. And this goes ahead and actually brings me back all the slides that the way they are right now. Uh, I'll go ahead and say keep the source formatting and then also tell me if a slide changes. So if somebody goes ahead and changes a slide in the back end, let me know of that uh, that has occurred. I'll click on OK. So let's say a few weeks have gone by. Here's my new slide deck the way it is at this point in time. And I, I'm going to go ahead and save this slide deck. And I'll call it SharePoint eLearning.pptx. Click on Save. Wonderful. I'll go ahead and close this now. 
Now every time if I go back to the slide deck and open it up it's going to give me this dialog box which is actually making a connection now it knows about the connection from this PowerPoint deck to that slide library and it's going to ask me do you want to check if there's any changes I'll click on change, ch uh, check and obviously at this point in time there are no changes nothing has been updated so it's telling me that let me go ahead and close this slide deck here and go back to my library and I'll just pretend I'm uh, let's say Sarah and I've been assigned this slide too I click on edit. Uh, I'll click on edit in Microsoft SharePoint. I'm sorry, Ma edit, edit in Microsoft PowerPoint. So it's letting me update only that particular slide now. And I'll put some s project notes here. So some new project notes. That's all right here. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and save this. That's all I have to do. Once I save it, you probably notice that it's actually saving it into the library directly. I don't need to save it locally anywhere. I'll close it. Now, when I go back as manager and try to open up the final slide deck, the presentation, click on check. Right before my presentation is supposed to happen, I'll do a check here and then I'll see that Sarah has made some changes to one of the slides. I'll say yes, I, I do want those changes to be incorporated into my slide deck. I'll click on yes to replace. And there you go. So the new changes that have that my team have been working on have all been incorporated at this time into the slide deck. I'll go ahead and save it now. So this is how you can use a slide library and PowerPoint 2007 together to your benefit. Store the actual library, uh, store, store the uh, deck and also do slides from the library uh, from the presentation directly into SharePoint let SharePoint slide library uh, go ahead and manage the information so it's all searchable it's all indexed completely uh, it, it is manageable directly here workflows like I mentioned before you can build on these things as well you can subscribe to alerts by going to actions and alert me so many different things you can do with it because it's all centered in SharePoint and of course, any updates that have happened uh, into these things also get spread to whoever has the uh, presentation slide deck in their laptop or desktop.